Hello, and welcome to Live from Beyond. This is episode, episode three. I'm going to do it again. That was... <laughs> All right. Hello, and welcome to Live from Beyond. This is episode three of Eternal Lies, Yucatan. Tonight, we join our intrepid investigators as they journey into the heart of the Yucatan jungle and church in... Oh, my God. I'm going to have to stop restarting <laughs> at some point. Hello, and welcome to... I can't remember the name of the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Hello, and welcome yeah. to Live from Beyond. I am Nick, one of the players in tonight's third episode of Eternal Lies of the Yucatan, where we're going to go deep into the heart of the jungle to see if we can find Chichen Zotzol, the strange ruins that we've been searching for. And our illustrious GM, Kevin, is going to now kick us off. Thank you very much, Nick, for that intro. Um, yeah, so if you guys remember last time, you were deep in the in the jungle of uh, the Yucatan. It had begun to rain. Let me get get our music set up here. Um, and uh, you guys were crossing a, a bit of a, a bit of a hill there, right? As uh, Harvey failed his athletics check and began to slide down the side of the hill in a mudslide before he slammed directly into a and then we cut we, out we were left <laughs> literally cliff hung yeah. but for those who uh Harvey for those who were not stuff. there including fritz himself i think we should probably mm. back up a few moments and recap all right go ahead um so in our previous session we had to <clears throat> we had just finished having dinner with a wonderful gentleman named de la vega in his fancy estate and uh, he'd pointed us in the direction of one of the guides in town who might actually be able to take us out onto the land to find Chitsun Zotzol. And um, so we sought out that gentleman at a bar, uh, no less, of course. And uh, after some interesting negotiations with Kitty Kennedy and a, a misdone uh, toast, he agreed to lead us into the jungle with great hesitation though he did not want to do it he thought that it was a bad time that maybe if we waited even a little while it would be better but we gathered our equipment and all got together and grabbed this guy and the porters that he'd hired for us and we went off into the jungle and we were we were driving towards uh basically there's like a path that leads off from the main path and if you go along that way you'll eventually get into the the jungle and it's like three days more out to where he thinks chisholm's old ruins are and um at this path we found a like a broken down or at least abandoned i guess pickup truck or some kind of truck with lots and lots of tracks of many more people than could have been in the truck all around and we're not sure if we're just hot on the trail of the previous expedition that went out before us that we know about of cultists or if there's some banditos involved or something else that uh that we're not aware of but i think um i don't remember who it was maybe it was gus was doing a lot of like tracking around looking at um you know where the leaves were bent and things like that to try and figure out which way people had gone and then uh, yeah there was this awful mudsliding issue with uh, the doctor you skipped a few things well, that's that's all right we uh was there no, something there... important day yes where harvey woke up in the middle of the night to find garzo talking to a cultist oh yeah i mean our, our guy garzo. if you consider that important i guess i also skipped the fact that um our really really special friend Mr. Alcatruz is here with us on the expedition, oh, is, and his presence is, is, there. is required. He's a uh, he's come in a in a brown leather jacket with a with a brilliant maroon shirt underneath Oof. it. Oof. We need I more men it. on this expedition. Yeah, the um, shirt is like also Nick. You forgot the part. lacking buttons. It's also I called... like bright maroon, a deep crimson. Chartreuse. No, 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 no. Not sure. Pretty much like the opposite end of the spectrum. Well, sort of. Anyway, what else did I forget? The part where I called Garzo a pussy. Not wanting to go into the jungle. Oh, yeah, that's true. And he got his back up. He's like, yeah, right, I'm going. Uh, just to clarify, where did we leave off with Garza? Did he and take his men and retreat? Or... No, no, he's still there. He's still no, there. Yeah, uh, yeah. So... Damon like shamed him into coming with us. Oh, but the, his men stayed behind. They wouldn't come any further. No, no, no. They came. To, they came. To, they needed oh. to carry our food. All right. Mm 
I underestimated Plus, Damon's... were you going to carry your own food, Harvey? No, certainly not. That's he right. came porters and all. All right, so, like I said, you guys are deep inside the jungle. It's not raining. It's raining. There's oh, no rain there. There's <laughs> no rain there. All right, so, anyways. Yeah, uh, go ahead. You said I slid down a hill. Is it like we were climbing up a hill and I slid back down the way we came, or did I slide? No, so um, you guys sort of have been descending for a bit, um, and you were sort of walking along the side of a hill, mm-hmm. um, you know, further down. It's And, and uh, as you uh, pass a particularly steep patch, um, you Harvey, you no- look down and notice that the... the the ground was just saturated with water. That the you know there was the the what you were standing on was mud, and and a moment later you were just shooting down the hill in this in this mud slide. Okay, Harvey's gonna like roll onto his back and pick his rat cage up and clutch it tightly to his uh, his chest. <laughs> okay, as he slides down the hill. Like he'll All take right. the the damage so his rat cage doesn't break. Guys, we forgot to mention that you had rats with you. Like, All right, so concern. Harvey, you slide down the down the down the the hill uh, everything is rolling around you there's mud everywhere you, you look up you see the storm there's a crack of lightning and all of a sudden everything goes dark okay so everybody back up the hill um garza like looks behind him and then um he starts like shouting to the porters like get the rope get the rope what are the rest of you doing helping <laughs> okay all right um, like as much as we can well, so you—I mean—you just want to help help get the rope, or you want to dive down the dive down the side of the hill? Um, so, it, w- how how far down are we talking? Um, it looks like he probably went—I uh, don't know, thirty or forty yards down. Wow. Yeah, I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> I'm gonna like uh, go help them with the rope. Okay. I, yeah, I would. I was looking solid ground. Sorry. I, I had I was just trying to see what I had rolled when he rolled poorly, and I I'd rolled a six, which I think means that Kitty was feeling pretty pretty spry and nimble, and definitely would like dart down the hill after him. If she no, could. that just means you didn't slip. <laughs> All right, so you can give yeah, me. Yeah, an... but I'm saying that's what it means. <laughs> so uh, there's acrobatics, right? Yeah, there is acrobatics. Yeah. You, can, you can use acrobatics or um, or athletics. athletics. Let, me, let well. me get to my Kitty Kennedy. Sorry, one moment. So, Fritz, what are you doing? I'm looking for solid ground, uh, checking my footing, trying to make sure that I'm not going to slide down the hill accidentally or on purpose. Okay, so this whole area seems like the uh, the side of the hill is, is pretty much um, saturated with water. Uh, you can't find solid ground pretty much anywhere. The path that you're on is um, it's definitely, like, sort of a level off in this on the hill, but, like, the part where Harvey is could have been worse, but... It, any of the, any part of this hill you think could probably could probably give way. Are there any uh, trees or roots any anywhere nearby? Yeah, yeah. There's lots. There's tons. I will find one and grab hold. Okay, great. Okay, so Kitty, what are you doing? Oh, Kitty, Kitty rolled for it. Kitty's gonna like um, try and dart down down the hill. Uh, you know, like nimbly, sort of like slide stepping her way. Um, after after Harvey, so that she can you know grab onto him, make sure he doesn't like slice himself open on a tree, or you know get buried under mud or something. Okay. See if I can like reach out and grab him. Okay, great. Um, so uh, yeah, so you you dart down the hill. You you find Harvey, um, like you know, like I said, 34, 30, 40 feet down the hill. Uh, he's sort of um, you can see an arm sticking up through uh, like a pile of uh, broken branches and leaves and stuff. All right, I'm I'm gonna like you know try and you can clear see, some stuff off him. And you can see Damon sort of um, being like lowered down the hill on a rope behind you, but he's still like halfway up or so. All right, well, no point in yelling at him. I'm just gonna see if I can like uncover Harvey and um, make sure he's okay. I'm like God, God damn it! Our only doctor is the one who injured. <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, so you uncover him uh, and you find that he. Um, He's sort of like sprawled out with his arms to either, well, uh, one of his arms to the side, uh, and his back is against a um, stone uh, obelisk, which is sticking up out of the side of the hill. Is it similar to the one that we saw uh, right before the last session ended? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, You can see uh, Harvey is still breathing, but uh, 
you know, his eyes are closed and he's got um, he's got blood like there's blood dripping down the the, the column. What about his rat cage? That's fine. I, I really thought you were going to ask what about his rectum, and I was like, <laughs> well, I was so, really worried. Also fine. So uh, somebody let me know. Forty percent intact. Nick, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I thought that's where Alex was going with that. Why would I go there? <laughs> Why wouldn't I go there? Oh, yeah, exactly. Thank you. Uh, okay, so... Coastline? There's bleeding going on. Uh, Alright, so, I mean, do I have... Uh, I'm sure I just have, like, an extra shirt or something in my pack. I mean, we packed all sorts of supplies, right? Sure. Can I, like, okay. just whip out, like, a shirt or something and try and, try and like, find where the where the blood, blood is and probably on the back and, and mm-hmm. like, at least, like, wrap him up or something? Well, uh, you can give me a point of preparedness. Ooh, I could. Uh, well, actually, that's that's a good question. Could I? Can I? <laughs> can I? Uh, I'm gonna have to get Illidan on you. I totally can. All right, okay. I use. Although I'm, I'm last point. It's actually it's a general skill. Do I need to roll for my preparedness? Uh. I mean, sure. we did say we would get all supplies. Well, preparedness is like to oh. see if you have something. No, no, no. I, I know that. I just meant. I, I mean, okay, okay, okay. How about, how about this? How about this? How about this? Is there some reason I would literally have not a single other piece of of clothing on me? <laughs> I'll, I'll let you. I mean, I'll let you spend. Spend that fine. Okay, and then uh, and just get it. It's fine. Good negotiation. All right, point spent. Okay, great. All right, yeah. So you you whip out a uh, you know a bandage even. Oh, <laughs> I did not see no, that coming. With gas. You don't need to waste a bandage. Yeah. Just plug the wound with some trash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or light the gas we apparently have on fire and cauterize the wound. Yeah. I mean, All right, you know. so Damon, you reach the bottom of the hill uh, along with Kitty. Um, let me show you. Let me show you just how much blood there is. Don't waste a shirt. Just use some leaves. There's all over the place. <laughs> Just Whatever, right you're unconscious. All right, that, but covered in blood. Yep. Covered in blood or just from my head just hitting it? Covered. Just from your head dripping down okay. the back. Great. Just 100% blood. Anyway, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and bandage you up, and I'm like, oh, oh my God, Mr. Smoke, um, it seems uh, poor, poor uh, Dr. Cohen, he's, um, he's knocked his noggin. <laughs> okay. I don't yeah. know. He sure has. Um, okay, Damon, what do you do? I ask you, is he breathing, Kitty? <laughs> I don't know. Look for yourself. I'm trying to bandage his head. He said that I seems was unimportant. Breathing. He said I was breathing but unconscious. Yes. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. Uh, I, like, I like come up and like just put like my hand on his chest because Damon doesn't have any idea how to check if someone's like alive or not. Aren't you like a former police officer or something? <laughs> There's been a lot of years and a lot of drugs yeah. in between now and now. <laughs> like a lot of drugs. A, a lot of drugs. A lot of drugs. Yeah, as you ask that, you see the nectar dangling from his neck. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, right. Um, anyway, I like, uh, I like give Harvey like a, a, like a very, very light shake. I'm like, Harvey. Okay. Further deep in the concussion. He seems to be out cold. I say, uh, I say, uh, um, Mr. Smoke, he's, um, he's clearly unconscious. Let's, uh, let's just try and get him off of this, this stone rubble and, um, you know, tend to his wounds. Okay. I, like, take a look at the stone. As it's, like, the same one that we saw earlier. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's basically identical to the one you saw, uh, before. Uh, but the top portion, uh, that is broken off is also broken off here, but you can see that there is a stone behind it. Uh, which it looks like it might correspond. What's the what's how do well, 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 the people up top? How well do they see what's going on down there? Um, so Pablo is about uh, is just about to reach the bottom, and there's another porter coming down as well. Unless you want to be that All person, right. first. I like take my I take my jacket and like just like <laughs> quickly throw it over the stone. Uh, okay. Or is the one on big? the ground? Is it too big? Oh, I mean, it would obviously be an obelisk with a jacket on top. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, I have no, there's no, like, reference size. I think sure, this thing sure. was, like, a foot, a foot high or something like that. No, no, no. Because you said there's, like, blood all over it, so, like, Harvey's no, it's a, blood? It's, it, yeah, it's as tall as Harvey. 
Ah, and it has so Harvey's blood. Covered in so blood. So it has a little bit of Harvey's blood. Just it's not like covered in blood. Head, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's I what said I thought. Fountains. I thought I it might be like, blood. I thought it's it not might Tarantino be a, like, style. A, like this big, right? That's why there's so much blood on it. <laughs> you thought there was this oozing, bloody obelisk, and you were just going to cover it with a jacket. <laughs> like, yeah, I thought it was like this big, because you put so much blood. <laughs> um, <laughs> Alright. I was like, alright. So, I mean, you can throw your jacket on if you want. No, I don't care. If if That's... It's going to be a little silly, but... I, uh, anyway, I look back to Pablo, and uh, I try... You know, I, I yell at him. I'm, I'm like, quickly, this man needs help! And I, like, I try to, like, get him to not really pay attention to the obelisk. And be like, he's going to die unless we get him We get him some medical attention, Pablo. Right right, right over here. Like, if we get him right. medical attention, like, 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 ten feet that way, it'd be great. So... Is that it? Anything you want to add to that statement? No, that's not my strength. So. No, nothing. Yeah, I mean, and Kitty's nothing. way too busy, like actually trying to tend to. Yeah, I mean, Martin. like something like this. To, I mean, basically, just won't work unless you think unless you can spend something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or use a skill. Uh, what do you got? What do you got there? Assess Damon? honesty. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Cop talk. <laughs> uh, I mean, like intimidation. Okay. Medicine. Like, Intimidation? Even outdoors intimidation is good enough for this? Yeah. Okay, I yeah, I'll, I'll use the point on intimidation. If you're, like, scaring him straight into worrying about just this and nothing else. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay, all right. Um, his eyes, like, as as he reaches the bottom, they, like, linger for just, like, a quarter of a second on the obelisk, and then, like, they snap to you, and he rushes over towards Harvey um, and, uh, and begins trying to, like, look at his wounds. All right. Um, it's hard to see because they're all bandaged up, but thanks for looking. Um, all right. I mean, is does does Harvey look at all like he's going to regain consciousness? Or, I mean, is he? Even, uh, like... So you, uh, well, so uh, so you put bandages on him. Do you want to do a medicine check? Medicine um, check? first aid. Sorry. Again, do I? <laughs> I do. I do. Okay. <laughs> I want to do a first aid check, which I will roll for since it yeah. is a general. I'll really do it this time. So here's a point of that. Please. I, okay, I was going to say on a roll, but that was going to be really bad. I didn't she mean started that. A medical she's doing well. In previous life. The na- new name of her show, guys, on a roll. All right. I think I rolled, um, two, I rolled two sixes for her last time, and now it's seven and a six. All right, so, uh, Harvey, you uh, you awaken, like, you know, rain falling into your eyes as Kitty holds uh, uh, a little... Uh, I don't know, capsule of smelling salt underneath your nose. Um, Kitty's you start... so prepared. My God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, right. Harvey, he, he comes to, you can see he's kind of like seeing double, um, and he, he's sort of out of it. Uh, he, he slowly starts sitting up, but he can't really make it to his feet just yet. So he pulls out a canteen of water and just starts drinking it slumped up against the obelisk. Um... I like I hold up my hand and I ask you how many fingers, but that's not a thing yet. And I'm just thinking that as a doctor, you'd know how many fingers are on the human hand if you have all your faculties about you. Yes. Um, oh, my God, Kitty, you've grown an extra finger. <laughs> I say, uh, I say, my my God, Doctor, you are, are you all right? I mean, oh, severely concussed, you, I believe. Severely concussed. Well, what what does that mean? What do we do, Doctor? How do we help you? Oh, I just need to sleep it off. Uh, get back in the game, dog. He passes I, out again. <laughs> I mean, just let me rest. <laughs> all right. I sure. No, so I'll, uh, Harvey will like slowly rise to his feet, um, and and he's like leaning against a tree for support. Okay. Um. Wait, so, where, uh, by the way, where's Alcatruz? Alcatruz is uh, is back up back up the hill. Really, nobody cares. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Just, just curious. Just curious. Sorry about that, Damon. I know you, okay. you feel away. Damon doesn't like Alcatraz anything. That's, right. that's, that's what I was implying. I can't yeah. wait till Damon goes crazy and like destroys Alcatraz. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I will destroy it you. <laughs> it might be sooner than later. <laughs> Guy, there's two of the men that says nothing they could do. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that's the obelisk, I swear. All right. So yeah. Um, so um, Pablo looks at you, Damon, and then uh, he turns toward the obelisk. Um, you know, uh, his 
the, the worried look in his eye. Uh, Mr. Garza, have we found the way? He, um, he turns back to you and he says, uh, yes, uh, yes, we have. Huh, as my father always said, always follow your head. <laughs> I, I really like your one-track mind, Dr. Cohen. Uh, so uh, Pablo walks over to the to the obelisk. He like puts a hand on it, and then uh, he says something in a language that you don't understand. He he did that last time too. Um, Wait, didn't he at one point say something in a language you didn't understand, or like mutter something to himself or whatever? Yep. It's just like right. Spanish slang, like Portuguese. Um, or... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I forgot. All right, well, I'll, just, I'll ask him. I'll say, uh, you know, Senor, Senor Garza, uh, what's what's the relation here between this and uh, and the one we saw we saw earlier before the mudslide? No. He says, uh, an, another warning. Like I said, we shouldn't be here. I say, well, I'm I'm inclined to to start. Doctor Cohen yes. is uh, apparently severely uh, concussed. I'm sorry. You cut out for middle for me in the middle. Of that sentence. Oh, maybe my mic. Uh, I said. Uh, I said. I'm start. I'm starting to be inclined to agree with you, seeing as how Dr. Cohen is severely concussed. No, no. It, it's it's uh, truly not a problem, Kitty. I can um, I can press on. It's uh, not a problem. I, I assure you. I, I stand up, and you can see me wobble a bit. But I'm now standing without. I give. I, I give him like so much shoulder. honesty. Oh, I'm lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm terrible. I'm in <laughs> terrible shape. Like, you can see the blood right. leaking from under the bandage. <laughs> yes, I'm fine. Coach, put me in. <laughs> it's all wow. good. I got ten uh, more plays in me, Coach. Fritz, are you still, like, all the way back up on the hill? Hell yes. What, do I look like an idiot? <laughs> Holding on to a tree. Yes. He's like, what the? I, I, like, I, like, give Harvey, like, I let him put his arm, like, around my shoulder. Okay. And I, like, put my arm around his torso. And, like, using a rope, I, you know, I try to... Walk back up the the slip and slide. Okay, yeah, yeah. You can uh, you can sort of help him back up the path. Um, we don't need to continue down this way. I think we do, sort of, but maybe he's just trying to get you back to the group and add it. Oh, yeah. I mean, if the rest of the group coming down, I just assume that. I mean, well, that's why I was wondering. Um, Pablo says you can go either. We can go either way. Um, it might be easier to have them come down, seeing as they're all in better shape. So what? I, I mean, uh, how do I? How do we like read Pablo here, right? I mean, because he's every chance he gets, he's telling us to leave and turn back. But then, you know, if we ask him, like, should we go on? He's like, yeah, all right. I mean, let's go. Well, we have to use a lot. We have to, him. we have to do a lot of convincing. Last no, I time. get that. I'm just trying to see, like, where he's coming from at this point. Like, he's a little scaredy cat. He's like, oh, there's bad things in the woods. I'm afraid. And Damon's like, man up. Let's go. And he's like, okay. All right, so um, so at the end of the line of porters uh, coming down the rope is uh, Fritz followed by Alcatruz. Um, Fritz is using Alcatruz as a toboggan to get down the hill. <laughs> yeah. Riding That's him you. like a pony. I mean, as long as he gets to use you as a toboggan next, it's all equitable. And It's uh, not how this colonial relationship works. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. What do you expect from a German? I mean, have they ever really colonized so much as just, like... All right, all right. Oh, anyway. <laughs> so they make it back God down. Goddamn Germans. Yeah, so they make it down to you. Um, the porters seem to regard the obelisk and the um, and the, the top portion, which is on the ground. Uh, they, uh, they give it, like, a bit of space, it seems. It looks like the, the, the part that's broken off, um, similar to the one we saw before in that it's just, like, cracked, or it, it's not, like... It's not like the Shrine of the Silver Monkey where you could, like, mount it on top, right? It's not like uh, the what? Well, no, it's so... If yeah, you no, didn't get the reference, the reference I'm not going to explain it. This is the top portion of the obelisk. Okay. This, this is definitely the top portion of the obelisk broken off. Uh, if you were so mechanically inclined, you could... It would probably fit back on the the top. Uh, it's weathered, for sure. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it, it did clearly crack off. Okay, it cracked off. Kevin, I don't remember 
But did we try to like read the other one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You looked at it. Here. So um, it was uh, there were Mayan warriors, or, or uh, similar to Mayan warriors. There's something missing, right? There's something missing. The right? top, yeah. The top was missing from the other one too. All right. So, so I like just like kneel down. Well, I ask Air, uh, Fritz to come take a look at it with me. Mm. Well, I can take a look, but I don't have any more. Um, Chochul archaeology. Also, things will get bad if we start running into Chochul stuff quite quickly. Well, um, anyway, I take a look to see what the top half has. Right. What so, um, right. So the top hat is a broad, frog-like mouth with razored fangs reaching down, uh, with a gaping tongue to devour the heads that are offered up by the Mayan warriors below, or the Mayan-like warriors below. The body of the creature roils upwards in. Uh, Hunched mounds of distorted gluttonous flesh. Is it at all Sounds reminiscent sexy. of the several things we've run into so far? I mean, clearly, so the bottom is clearly uh, the same as the last obelisk you saw. Um, no, no, no. I mean, the actual monsters we've run into so far. We've run into two, right? Basement in LA and then the, like, the pit in uh, yeah. Mexico? Okay. Yeah. Also, that guy that beat up Kitty Kennedy in LA. Is there, like, an insight skill? No, I don't think there is. No, no you mean like putting stuff together kind of thing? Yeah. Um Fritz, you uh so you've you've studied a lot of a lot of ancient cultures. You get the the feeling that there's a difference here, if it's just cultural or or whatnot. You don't think these are quite the same. Clearly they're very similar. There's tongues, there's mouths. But this has um a sort of a face attached to it. Hmm. Which is pretty different from the things you've seen so far. You which has been like? basically just mouths. You said it was a frog-like right, face? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I, I want to ask Pablo, uh, like, when, when you said uh, that this was a warning, did you mean the obelisk itself or the fact that the top is missing? He says, um, both. Would you care to explain yourself, Senor Gaza? He says, uh, I don't know much of this, about this place. Oh, here, well, by the way, there's a picture of the, uh, the top here. Um, but I knew that I do know that much blood was shed over this land. I suspect that the top of this of the statue of this uh, obelisk was displaced quite a long time ago. Yeah, so that was going to be my question. Sort of, it's like, is there any way to judge how long this has been here? I mean, how much like is there like undergrowth coming up on it? Is it like yeah, yeah? Oh, this is clearly extremely old. They don't really make this kind of stuff anymore. No, but I mean, like, it's the piece that's on the ground. Like, what uh, about... Yeah, could I compare, like, the mold found on the ground, on the bottom side, the crack side, versus the mold that's yeah, on the yeah. top and face? It's clearly been here for a very, very long time. Okay. okay. It's, like, sunken into the mud. Um, so, yeah. like, 70 plus years, 100 plus years, easy. Hundreds, hundreds of years, probably. Okay. Professor, what, what do you make of all this? Well, I mean, I could probably use some archaeology to do a more thorough check, but once you get more than five or six hundred years, unless you have some kind of system by which to date it, whether it's pottery or something like that, it becomes very difficult. I think the last session I actually did use archaeology, um, and I learned just you know what it was depicting and when it was made. Sure, and I certainly can apply... Um, Archaeology or anthropology. Maybe not, I don't have an anthropology, but I have archaeology. Um, but I, I don't know that we're going to get much more out of this. Right. Well, but what what do you make of this uh, this supposed like warning? Well, uh, having pillars like this as markers of an area is. Um, fairly universal among human societies, and so what would be considered a warning by an outsider would simply be considered a marking of territory um, or even a positive marking by an insider. Um, there's nothing inherently um, evil about this, but uh, clearly it makes Mr. Garza unhappy. Well, according to him, we're still like two and a half 
days, something like that, from the actual ruins of Chitin Zutzel. This this area that it's marking is quite large, in that sense. Apparently, uh, the Zutzel were, were a people, right? They they were exiled to this place. They were viewed as pariahs from uh, the rest of, I assume, Mayan culture. Well, that's not an exact translation of the term, but it's certainly what it comes to mean. Um, but yes, this was the place of that particular people, and yes, they seem not to have had a positive relationship with the rest of the culture, but the same could be said of the Aztec people, so um, it's difficult to tell what we're dealing with here and, and whether it's something like sacrifice or imperialism, uh, intra American imperialism, or whether there's something more sinister going on. Obviously, we know that that's possible, but it doesn't mean that it's happening every time. Well, we won't find answers at this uh, pillar, I assure you. So, um, You've thoroughly checked it. No secret switches. No. So, Fritz, as you as you look at the uh, at the the pillar, you know, so it's sort of at an angle, and you can see that the blood from Harvey's head is sort of dripping down, uh, but it never reaches the bottom of the obelisk. I was worried about there being blood on this obelisk, but it didn't seem like a good idea. Um, I'll examine more closely to see whether the obelisk seems to be absorbing the blood, or whether there seems to be something in the obelisk, a channel into which it could run, which would indicate perhaps yeah. something below. Um, so, so since it's raining, it's hard to tell. Um, you see, you just see that there is still some blood at the top, and uh, and like basically there are so there's carvings and things. Uh, but it doesn't seem to reach any further down than, than the midway down the obelisk. But does the water? But does the water, yes. So that fairly certainly answers it, because if it was simply a matter of liquid flowing, then all liquid would flow, and not simply uh, the water, but the blood is not. So I'll point this out to my companions. Uh, and hopefully in a, I was going to say, hopefully in a way that Gaza can't hear, but honestly, Fritz doesn't care all that much. Well, I don't, okay. He doesn't speak any English. Damon comes up and like touches like the little bit of blood, and tries to like touch the bottom part of the obelisk okay. with his bloody fingers. Sure. Yeah. So as uh, as Pablo um, as Pablo does see this, uh, whatever. Yeah. Uh, baby. He says something again under his breath. Uh, if you want, I would say that there is. A chance for a spend here, either maybe languages or yeah, uh, Harvey will, will mythos take a look. or I have languages. Um... Mm -hmm. By the way, does anybody have any mythos? I, I have, have one mythos. Cthulhu mythos. Okay. Uh, would it be beneficial to spend one of each? No, no, definitely not. All right. Um, uh, if we can just do languages, that's something I have. Well, so okay. Um, yeah. So he says something, and you catch. Uh, Part of it, you catch the word Goksumo. Mm. Ah. Yes, well, we had something about that in one of the books the other day. Yes. Was Goksumo the name of the, like, the Maw or the Devourer or something yes. like that? Yes. Yeah, right. It was what it was called by the Soksul people. Mm. Uh, what was the name of the man from L.A.? Uh, he was a liar, and he doesn't know the true name of Goksumo. I believe that was the... The, the one that we killed with his fiance, mm. Jonathan Brooks. Jonathan John Brooks. Brooks. Yeah, is that your chamber? The Mayans describe Goksumal as both bird and toad. So, which would be from the Survey of Satan by Glauco Suarez. It's rather nice of Satan to submit to a survey. It, it was. I, you know, normally, even when they say it's only going to be five or ten minutes, I still don't have any time for it. <laughs> On the other hand, if you have all of eternity, one would think that you might be able to. Alright, fair enough. Um. <laughs> yeah, we don't have it in the handout. Damn. This episode what? brought to you by Germany and Satan's. Uh, anyway, um, so is do we think that this uh, statue head has something to do with Coxball? Folks? I think it's almost certainly depicting at least what they believe to be Glocksmall. Kevin, okay. what happens when I do the thing? Sorry? Oh, uh, nothing. I mean, you you touch blood to the bottom half, it sort of, part of it comes off in your finger. You determine that blood is thicker oh. than water. So it, like, shows up on the bottom part? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. So, um, our guide doesn't speak any English? No, he does. Correct. Speaks, only speaks Spanish. That's right. 
He speaks solamente Espanol. Well, yeah. and presumably Mayan, but... Well, yes. Uh, of the languages that we know, he speaks only Spanish. That is the Indeed. only way we're able to communicate with him. Very well. Um, so he's clearly uncomfortable. Uh, after a moment, he says, um, we shouldn't linger here. I agree. Let's make this trip as quick as possible. All right, well, what's... Um... He says, uh, we're closer than I thought. We can't be more than half a day's uh, journey from Chichen Itzel. Oh, okay. That's surprising. Um, all right, so let's, I mean, let's, like, you know, ply Harvey with a little bit of food to perk him up or whatever and then keep going. Mm. Yeah, Harvey okay. uh, quickly, I guess. Uh, Can of beans. Well, yeah, exactly, sure. Can of beans. Coffee. Just some raw coffee beans. <laughs> Mainline coffee. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Let's. Uh, is everybody is everybody good with with moving on with getting? Uh, yeah, there's cars in there. Damon? I don't think there's any. Last time. Damon, do you do you want to have like an in depth conversation with Alcatruz? I think that's what should happen next. <laughs> no, I'm fine. You become one of your pillars of sanity. Uh, you mean insanity? <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're ready to we're ready to to keep plugging away at this half day ahead of us. Okay. So um, you continue on through the jungle. Um, the it it's a bit hard going since the since the ground is is muddy, um, but you can tell that you're sort of descending into some sort of some sort of valley, uh, and. Uh, uh, Pablo seems to be less and less, uh, more and more unnerved uh, as you continue. And uh, however, the, the rain starts to clear up a little bit. As something, you something important's going on on the right side of those bushes. <laughs> Do we, this is, we were drawing one oh. more. Oh. All our feet cut out last time. We were trying to communicate. <laughs> uh, anyways. Found mine. Deleted mine. So, um, everybody, it begins. So it it it, uh, it begins to approach uh, twilight, uh, dusk, and I would like all of you. Uh, well, so the first thing that happens is um, the noises of the jungle begin to fade away, almost uh, almost perceptibly, making way for strange electronic sounds. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, everybody, give me a. Sense danger rule. All right. Sense danger rule. How did I know? Sense yeah, trouble. Yeah, sense, sense trouble. trouble. All right. And it's it's cool if we don't have points, right? We can just roll it anyway. Yeah, you can just roll. One. Jesus, kitty. A three is no good, right? Oh, kitty. Nope. Letting me down at the last moment. Damon's like this. Yes, Fritz is completely unaware of his surroundings. <laughs> so yeah, Damon's Fritz is, one. Fritz, Fritz is, is literally is... walking along and like reading a book. Yeah, so still, Fritz still riding Alcatruz. So Fritz, uh, you're uh, you're sort of walking along. Um, you've got a, you've got one of the books in your hand, and you're sort of reading it uh, as you as you trot along through the jungle. Uh, and then all of a sudden, you notice uh, a sort of a noise. And you look up ahead, and you see that Damon has un, un, uh, un, unbuttoned the uh, leather latch on his pistol, and he's sliding it out of his out of its holster. All of a sudden, a gunshot rings through the air, and then another, and then another. And you see a porter next to you um, clutch his chest as blood begins to pour pour out of it. Does and he the drop whole... the stuff he's carrying? He's got a backpack, so. Oh, all right. Wait, as long did as... Damon shoot him? No, no. Oh. Um, um... The, the, the jungle er erupts into into motion. People begin screaming and running everywhere as uh, gunshots begin to ring out uh, through the through the brush. I was the worried that you were saying that Damon was like unclasping the the lid of his little vial and it's, no no it's he's undoing the, he's gun. undoing the his holster on his pistol. Right. Um, so Damon, you are out. You can do the first thing. You have your pistol out. You're ready to go. Uh, you saw a motion up ahead through the jungle or to the side in the jungle, and you heard. Um, the sliding back and cocking of a rifle bolt. 
So I can shoot in the general dire direction? Sure, yeah, you can, yeah. Absolutely. Alright. So, all right. uh, all right, so, so Damon uh, raises his pistol to shoot. Are you, I mean, okay. Uh, what are the rest of you guys doing? Hmm. Uh, well, how, how quickly are we reacting to what's going on? Well, the first thing uh, Harvey would do is reflexively like hunch over his rat cage and then like <laughs> run towards like a tree stump or uh, like a you know a gully for cover, but he would he wouldn't go too far from the group. Right. Okay. Well, the group seems to um, be disintegrating extremely quickly. So the porters are running in multiple directions. Um, uh, you can a... see you know like every once in a while you see one like running through the forest and you get shot and like fall to the ground. Uh, Pablo begins running forward uh, through the jungle. There was a porter right next to me who was shot, yes? Yeah. Uh, I grab my chest and fall down as if I was shot and roll into his body. Okay. To the side so that I'm covered. Okay. Assess honesty. <laughs> um, all right, Kitty, Kitty's going to scream really loudly. I won't I won't repeat it for everybody because it would be unpleasant. But Kitty's going to, like, scream loudly and... Um, and just like drop to the ground, uh, and if she can, she's gonna she's gonna start uh, looking around towards where uh, Alcatruz was tobogganing uh, <laughs> Fritz and see if she can crawl towards him. Okay, yeah. So Fritz, um, so Damon, you uh, did you make your shot? No, you told me to hold on. Oh no, go ahead. He meant shoot away. Are you going to do it? A three. Oh, okay, great. Okay, yeah, so Damon uh, fires up a shot into the into the jungle. Um, Fritz, through the through the foliage, you can see uh, one of the porters gets shot and fall down. Um, and then uh, a man sort of steps out of the bushes. He gets shot through, like, the, the leg or something. A man steps out of the, the bushes, <laughs> like, picks up his head, and, like, point blank, like, blows, him, blows his face away. Can I see any details about the man? Uh, yeah, he, he looks like he's wearing regular jungle gear. Wait, sorry, who, whose head just got blown away? One of the, uh, one of the porters. Oh. Wow. Right, so um so Alcatruz grabs your grabs your arm kitty and he's like, We've gotta get out of here and he begins pulling you along. Uh I, I said no of, <laughs> of our friends. Alright. He says uh, you can't help them if you're dead. Come on, kitty. I said Santiago, but 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 Dr. Cohen, he's injured. He's not gonna make it. Alright. He says, uh you keep going. I'll go back for him. Whoa. Uh, wow, really? Um, all for one and one for all. I kind of want to assess honesty on my own boyfriend. Um, <laughs> He's just going to run in the direction. <laughs> the session just changes to an episode of The, Rever the Revenant, and Nick is just hunting down <laughs> Alcatraz for leaving us to die. Um. I say, uh, I, I say, I'll, I say, all right, but but get him and and um, and the professor out of there. They they're you know like frail and stuff. He says, just get out of here, and he like turns to run back. All right, Damon, what are you doing? So there's like bullets like whizzing past your head. Yeah, no, screw that. I like keep my gun out, but I like turn around and like dive or run and dive behind the nearest uh, tree trunk tree like literally stone anything that'll provide some sort of cover maybe okay. maybe some sort of obelisk yeah so you <laughs> no they're not an obelisk you dive behind like a large a large stone and just as you do like a bullet ricochets off of it um you can see people uh like it seems like the group that has whatever group was attacking you uh has has split off and is beginning to chase chase porters in various directions to the trees what do these porters do to them uh, can I have another action at some point? I don't know how this works. Oh yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, is there any chance that there was a, a rifle on the porter who I'm rolled up next to? I uh, know he has a machete. Did any of us bring no. guns? Yeah, yeah. So we all brought guns. Everybody. But the porters had machetes. That the was. Porters didn't have guns. They had machetes. That was specifically. So, so I have a gun. Yes, uh, you yeah. have a gun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have a gun. All right. Can it be a rifle? Since I wasn't uh, there for the. I think Kim actually supplies. did specifically say that the, he bought a few rifles. Like, in addition to the little sidearms that we'd all picked up through L.A. and stuff, I'm pretty sure Kim uh, said that he Sure, yeah, you can get a rifle. No problem. All right. Um, I'd like to see whether I can take aim at, at one of the figures of our attackers and uh, and shoot them. Okay, yeah. All right, uh, sure, go ahead. Make a roll. All right. Uh, 
All right. So yeah. So uh, Fritz sort of raises a, a shaky, shaky hand up uh, uh, to support the rifle and fires up a shot. The guy who just uh, you know blew away one of the porters uh, turns his head towards you um, and sort of like ducks down behind a behind a tree and begins like advancing towards you uh, underneath cover. All right, uh, Harvey, what are you doing? So can I see anybody or like a group of people? Yeah, yeah. You can see people through the trees. You can't make out quite how many there are, um, and. Uh, the the situation seems to have lost most of its direction. You're not so, really sure which way is which okay. anymore. So is there like a one area that most of the fire is coming from that I can tell that the the body of the attackers was? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So Harvey, uh, you know, part of his experiments, uh, you know, in his chemistry set, he has a fair bit of uh, petrol that he carries with him. Okay. So he is going to uh, take an empty glass bottle out of his pack and uh, begin mixing a Molotov cocktail. Uh, can I spend points of preparedness to do that? Uh, sure. Well, we sa- we can say that you have something like that mostly prepared already. It would take you a while, I think, to do that. Um, but I think you had talked to me about something like that before. So uh, yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no, I think I think maybe back it's in pretty, Mexico City or LA. It's pretty improvisable, isn't it? Is it not? I mean, if he has like a vial, they're, they're and... designed to be pretty quick and dirty. Like you just shove a okay. bag into the top of a bottle and light it. Oh, and throw fair it enough. Light it. Light okay, it that's true. It. That's true. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So um, so you're doing that. You see Alcatraz like uh, run over towards you. Um, so when he gets there, I'm just like, going to look up with him like like the situation. Like, Hello. Oh, I didn't expect you to, to see you here. And I'm just like right, pouring the like, petrol into the bottle. He like grabs your arm and starts to tug you away. And one, he says, one, uh, moment, where's, one, where's one moment. One uh, moment. Oh, I haven't seen him. And I'll just go back to pouring the uh, the bottle. God damn it, Harvey. I'm right. like, I, the, the, I'm relatively shielded from the bullets, right? Uh, kind of. Well, only by Alcatraz's right. body. Well, that's fine. All right, Damon, what, and this so you, Damon, you're behind the rock. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to. Uh, you said it's dark, right? I uh, know it's 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 like just begin beginning just to be dark. Just twilighty. Okay, I'm gonna try to sneak into like the brush and see if I can get a, uh, like a jump on one of these figures that's chasing porters. Okay, yeah. Uh, give and... me a give me like a stealth sneak roll. Can I do shadowing instead? No. <laughs> All right. I'm just, like, super close to... Fuck! Hmm. Whatever. I'll just kill him. I've seen hands. better. Okay. Um, so you sort of uh, get up halfway behind one that seems... So you see, like, a like a porter run off uh, through the trees. Uh, and you follow... You see another guy run after him. And you begin um, sort of sneaking through the trees after him. And... Uh, as you do, you come upon um, the uh, uh, the porter. Or you see the man standing over the porter, uh, and you hear like a like a slicing noise. Uh, and he uh, he you like step on a twig, and he like he like turns around, scanning the forest. Slicing noise. Yeah. Okay. I. What is he doing? You should shoot him. He just—he's like looking through the forest. You're like you—you you like stop your breath, in your in your throat. Hmm. So you okay, see I, yet. So I don't. I attempt to like. Uh, like I don't go towards him unless he moves. In which case, I want to follow him. Uh, okay. So he uh, he begins. So um, he begins to walk uh, in your general direction. You can see in his right hand. Uh, he's holding by the hair. Of the porter, the porter's separate head. Oh, and okay. you should make a stability check. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> he should. He should, but, but uh, 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 he's not going to. All right. Okay, good. Yeah. You're fine. Nothing I, I haven't, nothing I haven't seen before. <laughs> nothing you haven't done before. All right. Um, <laughs> All right, he uh, he shouts something in some kind of uh, language. It's not Spanish, but it's uh, yeah. Okay, um, it's not Spanish. You said it's not Spanish. Yes, but he's he's sort of walking you in a general direction. In a moment, you think he'll be able to see you pretty clearly. He'll be able to. Oh, okay. Uh, can I like circle around the tree or something? So he doesn't. I don't know how I'm hidden. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, you're pretty sure if you move, he's, he's going to see you. 
And if I stand still, he's also going to see me? Pro in a moment, yeah. You can probably okay. either... I, like, draw my gun. Or shoot him, or attack him, or be seen, or... Yeah, I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll take out, I'll take out my knife quietly. Okay. And as he comes within reach, I'm just gonna stab him. Okay, yeah. Make a. Is that scuffling? Yeah, scuffling check. Or weapons. Weapon. Ah, come on, let's go with scuffling instead. Just scuffling with a knife, I think. Oh my god. Can't do scuffling with a knife. Yeah, I think you can do scuffling with a knife. Oh, nice. All right, come on. Roll, sir. Or. All right, so you uh, you leap forward, um, and uh, you stab him in the shoulder, and he like drops his gun and and, and screams, uh, but his hand remains clenched to the hair of the uh, of the porter, um, and he like and he like uh, drops to his knees, and you go like sort of go down on top of him, and you can see it, you can see his eyes are like uh, like wide open as he's as he's screaming, like trying to grab the knife out of his shoulder. <laughs> I punched the knife into his shoulder. Oh. Okay. All right, he like he screams again um, and howls in pain. Uh, yeah, all right. Can I like out? knock him out or shut him up? Any of those? Uh, yeah, he's gonna try to punch you back. All right, yeah. Like the knife also. So, uh, so he he like punches you in the face. You're gonna take uh, two points of, of health damage. Um, but he seems to be like writhing in agony. He he doesn't seem to be. Uh, haven't been able to hold it together. So you wanna you wanna punch him out, or strangle him, or what? Well, just s silence him so that he's not. Yeah, like if I can knock him out, that would be preferable. Okay, yeah, give me another scuffing roll. Okay, yeah. So you like you uh, you slam him right in the side of the head, and he uh, he goes out. All right. Um. So Harvey, uh, Alcatruz is there, and he's like, uh, "Doctor, there's no time for that. We gotta go." And he begins to like grab your arm and trying to like drag you away. Uh, but haven't we? Don't we need to locate the professor, um, Mr. Dreckner? All uh, right. I, I'll look around. To, uh, I'm I'm just about finished with my the Molotov at this point, right? Yeah, yeah. You okay. see Harvey um, sort of like uh, crouched behind a Fritz. body with a with a rifle. Fritz. Or Fritz. I'm sorry. Okay. Fritz. Fritz. Are you are you continuing to shoot in the, in the yeah. Other all right, every once in a while, he's like, he'll like fire off a shot into the forest. Oh, you are shooting into the forest. Okay. Um, so the direction that he's shooting, I'm assuming, is towards also the mass, uh, you know, grouping. Um, I'll mm -hmm. throw, I'll uh, actually, I'll take out a, a strike anywhere match and hand it to Mr. Alcatruz and say, you uh, wouldn't be so kind as to, and I'll point over into the direction of the fire. He throws the match in that direction. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't start the fire. <laughs> um, all right, so yeah. So he he uh, he lights the match and uh, you know packs back the Molotov and tosses it high into the forest. It hits a it hits a tree high up and like fire sort of like uh, rains down onto the foliage below. He's like, "All right, enough. We gotta get out of here." And he like uh, runs over to Fritz and just like grabs his arm and begins to, like pull him through the forest, hoping he hit the ground to create a smoke screen. But very well. <laughs> Fritz, are you gonna are you coming with or is this your last stand? Fritz hasn't decided. Uh, I guess we'll we'll just go ahead and try to cover the retreat while we fall back. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done. All right, that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> all right, so uh, yeah, so Fritz, you see uh, you see Damon like at a, in a out of the corner of your eye, like flash through the forest. Um, and then, like a uh, a few moments later, you hear you hear a blood curdling scream. Um, is is he flashing in our direction or away from oh, us? away from, away from you? All right, then I I push off, um, dear Alcatruz, and say we have to stay as long as smoke is staying. All right, these people are crazy. That's why I told him to get Cohen and and Drekner. This is Harvey. Come on. So Harvey You're will muted. look, um, uh, you know, look, but from Aaron or from Fritz to uh, to Alcatruz, back to Fritz. Uh, hmm. Really comically. No. Fritz, uh, and Fritz turns to Alcatruz and says, "Young man, everyone finds a hill to die on someday," and then turns back to shoot again to the forest. 
All right. All right. Um, in that in that case, Harvey will pull out the pistol that he's been carrying, um, set his rat down in cover, and begin firing. All right. He like shouts at you. He's like, "You can't save the world if you die here." It's debatable. <laughs> All right. Um, well, if you guys aren't going, he's gonna he's gonna leave. Yeah. Go make sure that Kitty is safe. This is no place for women. Okay. All right, so um, so he takes off uh, back in the other direction. All right, so Damon, what are you doing? All right, so I like with the cultist knocked out. I just like grab him by the collar uh-huh. and just like drag him towards where like essentially where we were all originally. Okay, all right. So Fritz and Aaron, or Fritz and Harvey, give me. Um, uh, overall, so you're going to be there for, I guess, a few moments. Yeah. Um, give me overall uh, shooting checks. Uh, what does an overall shooting check look so like? Just make a shooting just... check, and this is going to determine like how well you do in this short fire fight that you are participating so in. So we can spend points. It's not just going to be like one shot. It's going to be like... Sorry? Okay. So can we spend our points on this? Yes, you absolutely can. All right. Worst. All right. Um, so, uh, uh, so Fritz is is sitting there, um, firing off shots. Um, unfortunately, during the middle of the firefight, uh, Fritz, you get hit in the leg with a bullet. And Harvey, um, you are grazed on the side of your head as a bullet. Uh, gra- uh, you know, you you see the uh, a flash to the side. You can see Damon coming through the uh, coming through the jungle with like a, a person like slumped over his back. He's like fireman's carrying like a guy, um, and just as you do like like everything sort of goes dizzy as for a second as a, as a bullet like grazes your head. So for the guy, uh, have a head. yeah, yeah. Oh, so Fritz, you're going to take five damage. Oh, sorry, Harvey, you're going to take five damage, and uh, Fritz, you're going to take four. Uh, health. Okay. Yeah, health damage. So what happens if I'm at zero health? I will go double check for you. I think zero you can still operate, but you are like, you're in yeah. bad shape. Okay. All right. Um, so, anyways, um, so uh, Damon, you see, um, see them coming through through the, or you see them through the forest ahead of you. Who them? All right, yeah, I like go to them, like as fast as I can. All right, so um, as you near them, you can sort of see that they are like uh, pinned down in the forest. There's like a bunch of people through the trees. Um, they're just like you know firing onto their position uh, with some regularity, and uh, it seems like Fritz is hit. Okay, um, are, are the shots still coming from the trees? From the trees. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there seems to be um, a number of shooters. You're very clearly uh, outnumbered by some amount. And Fritz fainted, or he's down? No, Fritz is... You can see Fritz... Um, there's, like, blood near Fritz. Okay. So, I, like... I As I run, I, like, yell to everybody. I say, get out of here! Go! And, like, I... I'll use the sucker on my back as a shield. Okay. So, what do you guys do? If we're retreating, Fritz will try to make a walking retreat. He'll uh, drop the rifle and switch to pistol. It's easier to shoot while you're moving. Okay. Uh, yeah, Harvey will... Um, he's not in the best of shape, so he's probably going to just hunker in cover as best he can and retreat with them. Yeah, so the, just to interject, the answer is that if your health is from 0 to negative 5, uh, you haven't suffered permanent injury, but you can't spend investigative points, and all of your other tests and contests are increased in by 1 in difficulty until you heal back up. Okay. Okay. All right, so um, you begin to flee uh, from the, the site of the battle. Um after a few moments, the the gunshots seem to be somewhat in the in the distance. Um, up ahead, you can see uh, a, a two figures crouched uh, in the brush in front of a, what looks like a large clearing. All right, well, that's a bad place to be, guys. <laughs> in the in the large clearing. Can we see what's inside of the large clearing? 
Yeah. No, no, so, they're um, crouched beside it. So, uh, so as you, as you, oh, do you want to approach the figures? Uh, is it, is yes. it our people? Do they look yeah, like yeah. It's Kitty and Alkatoos. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Alright. Um, so, uh, as you approach, uh, you can, you can, you can hear that the, the sounds of the jungle have returned here. Um, but, uh, up ahead you see a large pyramid. We've made it, boys. It seems to have a structure on top. Is it the door yeah, so windows? it does. So, um, so the, there's a, a a break in the jungle canopy with some scrub around it. Uh, in the middle of this clearing, uh, there's uh, so there's a lot of grass, but you can tell that there's sort of like water beneath it. Um, to the uh, so the pyramid is sort of on the left. Uh, left side of the of the clearing. Uh, oh, wait, no, I'm jumping. It's super ziggurat-y. Uh Does the clearing resemble yes. in any way the map we have of uh, mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Okay, it does. So um, where it says jungle line is about where you think you are. Oh. Okay. So um, the. So yeah. Cenote. So it, uh, right. So um, Cenote. Cenote. It's like a well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. oh. So across from you in the clearing, you can see something that looks like, um, you know, I guess a court or a, or a, a small stone amphitheater. Um, to the south, you guess, is um, this just this area that is covered with um, stone pillars. Uh, and there's the pyramid as well. And do there seem to be any people inside of the clearing? So um, you can see something uh, white uh, in the grass in the center of the plaza, uh, sort of lying down. It could be a person or, or a body or whatnot. Um, you also see across uh, in the court what looks to be like several tents. Well, I'll say to the group, um... I think that the most defensible position in this entire area is probably the top of that pyramid, and the fact that it coincides with where we want to go is just kind of an added bonus. Is there? Can you give a, a scale impression of that that pyramid? Um, I see trees on it. It's probably two hundred feet, something like that. So yeah, it's hard to tell, like if those trees are way behind it or something. That's what I was trying to. Understand. But okay, could be less than that. Yeah. All right. I was just wondering. Could be seventy feet. Um. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like eighty or ninety feet. Okay. Okay. Got it. Is it worth uh, maybe scouting the perimeter and investigating these other structures before we take a defensive well, position? We... I also. Uh... Have a guy. I was going to say, I think defensive position is the number one okay. priority right now. I have this guy with us. So you you have the porter or the the guy? Um, oh the yeah, he has a guy in his back. The band. No, the, the, the porter doesn't have a head. I don't go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Porter's Although, head, I think <laughs> we do have the porter's head, right? Does the guy still hold on to it? Or is no, it no, no, no. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. All right. I was going to say because I when, you, when you knocked him out, he he dropped it. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Turns out it's still attached. Didn't even look. That would have been a sweet scene coming out of the jungle with carrying a guy who's carrying, carrying a head. Carrying a head. Yeah. 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 All right, anyway, I, think... I like to secure this this dude. Okay. I think if, if we can sneak to the top of that pyramid, that's our next move. <laughs> Perhaps. Like off his arms and legs. But is, um, are the tents not likely to belong to uh, the, you know, the cultists? Uh, they, in all likelihood, do, but do you remember how to get back out of this forest? Well, perhaps not, but, um, just, uh, I mean, we should be, we should be careful approaching the pyramid. Is there any way to go around it so that we're, you know, are, we're blocked from view of those tents? Uh, yes, I think certainly caution is in order, um, and if we can sneak up the side, then that would be the best, um, ideally the side that's opposite the ball court. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely do that. All right, let's go for let's, it. 
All right. Well, you guys are going to begin sneaking around. Um, yes. Why don't we take a short five or ten minute break? Okay. All right. So, um, right. Um, okay. So, um, you begin to uh, approach the pyramid. Uh, you can see that the side facing, uh, as you pass by, you can see that the side facing the um, court has uh, some kind of entrance uh, in it. The people don't notice this, like the side. What do you mean, like the base of the pyramid? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the base. Okay. There is like a some kind of some kind of entrance. Um, you can also see as you round the plaza that there is definitely some kind of uh, uh, figure face down in the weeds near the center of the plaza. Okay. Um, is that the white thing that we saw? Yes. Mm-hmm. The entrance at the base of the pyramid, is it like a closed door or is it just an archway or opening? Uh, into what door? you can see just looks like an archway, but it is also facing away from the sun. Is this near the court? Or would it be? This is the side with the court, which is where the tents are? Mm-hmm. The, the, court, the, the tents are in the court. Um, as, you, as you round... Um, the uh, the outside of the perimeter there, you can see that um, some of the tents look like they have fallen down. Oh. All right, I, I suggest that somebody just like slink over and, and see what's going on over there at the tents. I would. Who's but, our uh, stealthiest? Honestly, probably me, but I'm a bit worse for wear at this point. <laughs> yeah, you because have I think the concussed shot in the head person should probably not be the one who sneaks over. Uh, yeah. yeah, so but, by I mean, the way, could go. I hold up my rat cage. Yeah, by the way, you guys can do medical checks on Harvey to recover some... some... Yeah, oh, that's could true. I do a medical oh, check? Might as, if you're, are, you, are you at zero exactly? I'm at exactly zero. Oh, so it's definitely worth it to, like, just heal you up a little bit so that you, you're you no longer, you know... Mm-hmm. Stuff like, I can... Uh, let me see. Uh, I have medicine so, uh, or first aid. I will say that... Um, so uh, the first aid is going to be the thing that's applicable here. Yeah, you I can just spend a just point like, of first aid to... Um, you back, like, two points of health or something like that? Yeah. Okay, so I'll spend all three of mine. Is that cool? It's actually... It's... Great. So Any chance spend... someone could take a look at my leg? Uh, yeah, so Fritz is uh, leaving a trail of blood, by the way. Wait, hold on. When you use first aid, each point spend heals three health points rather than two. Damn. You get two... Rather no, that's probably for pulp. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's just... Oh, it's for the doctor. It's for the doctor. Okay. Never so mind. I get six. Yep. Okay. Kitty, why don't you so take David, a look at uh, Mr. Dreckner? Um, I'll be all right. Yeah, if you have more for Dreckner. I don't actually. Uh, I use. Oh, you have. No, oh, I have. I have one more point of first aid that I could that I could use for you, Mr. Dreckner. I do not have any first aid. Oh, I do have first aid. I don't have medicine. First aid's what right, we need. Well, I, I first aid's what we're using. I can use my point, which will give you back two points of health. I only have that one would be well. good. At the moment, I'm only at four, so we're kind of on that edge. Mm-hmm. Damien, did you wanna did you wanna sneak over or something? Um, well, I'm gonna wait for Fritz to like not be dying. You might. Okay. I'm fine. Yeah, you might be uh, the best candidate since you have uh, the pistol and are the best shot with it. And best to get shot with it. Yeah. He is a freaking private. Dick, All right. Hopefully, I will. I will attempt to sneak around the side to see what I can see. Okay, so um, give me uh, give me one of them stealth rolls. Good. Sneaking. Super sneaky. And by that I mean not. He poops his pants. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, right. So um, we're all dead. That's okay. You uh, you make your way through the jungle. You want to go like around. Do you, do you have the map? Yeah, I'll put it up okay. on the screen. One sec. Okay. Uh, it should be at the top of um, uh, into the Yukon end. Potentially. Is this the Yukon end? Yeah. Okay. I've, I'm looking at it. Okay. So uh, you slicker. can sneak. You can sneak along the forest line towards the towards the court if you want, or you can go across the court. So we're the, um, the on the jungle line side of the pyramid of the sorcerer, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Like okay. northeast. And the tents are, are where in relation to the word plaza on that map? They're in the ball court, I believe. They are in the court. In the court. So, like, the ball court. Is that what it is? Yes. Okay. What's that game called? I can't remember what that game is called. Not lacrosse, right? That's... Chai-a-lai. Chai-a-lai. Uh All right. So, um, 
So you sneak over towards the court. Um, you, uh, it doesn't take long. Here, I'll switch over to the court. Um, if he's going to the court, can he check out the body on the way? Depends how how you how you want to go, Damon. How do you want to sneak towards the court? Um, so I'd say the the way that I'd want to go is probably around the jungle, like mm-hmm. not out in the open. Okay. Okay. All right. So. A flat, ex- a flat expanse of short grasses between two uh, 15 ho- foot high walls of expertly laid stone, all sheathed in vines and moss. Um, you can see in front of you, uh, this is the site of a massacre. There are bodies spread about, torn and ruined tent flaps raggedly in the wind. Dozens of bodies are scattered around the area. Why couldn't it just be they, suicide? Are they dead? Uh, yeah. The bodies are dead. Okay. They're dead bodies. They're dead bodies. Dead bodies. Do they have their heads? Um, no. So uh, the bodies are headless. In some cases, they've been put, torn apart. Uh, however, most of the heads have been uh, looked like to it. They have been cut or raggedly chopped off. Arrows jut from corpses, uh, pinning khaki clothes to bloated bodies. Uh, a broken spear angles out of one sunken body. Um, it may have been flies from... buzz in the area around the area, and the, yes, let's get out the of here. smell yeah. is uh, is pretty overpowering. Yeah, let's get out. Of this. Um, we had a note from someone reporting to, uh, I believe, Jonathan Brooks. Mm-hmm. Um, at, and they said they had, they had signed their name on the note. I don't believe we have it in the handout section. Um, but is it possible to see if they maybe um, have a piece of identification on them? Uh, and just to, that just so we can confirm that this is the expedition that was sent out by Jonathan Brooks. Uh, well, I think you guys have a picture of the of. Um... But they don't have heads, so it'd be hard to match. I mean, the clothes, I guess, but. Touche. Um, let me let me go on. Well, so Damon, Damon, you're the one there. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, once I see like the million bodies, I like fall back to where the group is to be like, uh, you know, like I'm not okay. gonna go sneaking among bodies into the pyramid. By the way, just um, just as it goes, you guys do not hear gunshots in the forest anymore behind you. Mm. They, yeah, and you haven't for some time. I mean, we're not very far away from that whole fight, right? You're like you're like ten or fifteen minutes from Sancho yeah, Dominguez nice. was his name. Hmm. What's that? Um, all right. Uh, Sancho Dominguez is the uh, apparently the representative who was reporting to Jonathan Brooks from Merida and. Oh yeah, no, I meant the picture. So, uh, if you wanted to identify these bodies, you could use maybe forensics, or, um, or yeah, something like that. Uh, Harvey would definitely want to go do that. Um, if uh, Mr. Smoke could lead me there, I could take a look. Yeah, I like come back and tell the group there's like how dozens of bodies there, and like we should confirm that it's it's this isn't the, a uh... good place to make camp. <laughs> No, it's not, but we should confirm at least that um, the group we were tracking sent by Jonathan Brooks is in fact dead. I mean, it's uh, a good idea. So, uh, just, okay, but we might be running out of time as then perhaps those are the, the same people. Then but... let's check them quickly and then yeah. go. Harvey begins walking as quickly as he can across the, uh, the open expanse of uh, land, and he's going to uh, glance at the body as he goes. Uh, let me... Yeah. Oh, the body in the middle? Yeah. So he's he, he's not going to go that circuitous route that um, Mr. Yeah. Smoke took. Okay. Um, so you can see... Um, uh, so do any of you have outdoorsmen? Uh, Got the no. <laughs> All right. That's fine. Okay. So um, the body in the middle is... Uh, so as you as you near it, there are, there are again, flies buzzing near it. Um, or flies buzzing around it. Uh, you can you can smell it before you can see it clearly, but as you approach through the grass, you can see that floating in the uh, in the ankle deep water is a is a is part of a body. Um, from what you can tell, it is a woman, 
uh, her face is bloated, uh, and the bottom half of her body is missing. Uh, you said there was water, so this um, this there clearing is filled with water. The center of the clearing is like a little bit of like a marsh kind of thing. Okay. Like there's there's tall grass. There's like knee knee high grass. And there's like ankle deep water. How does it look like the top half of her body left the bottom half of her body? Uh, so you want to you want to approach and, uh, and inspect um, it? Yeah. Do I need to use? For, I was going to save my forensics point for the camp instead of this body. Does I'm anybody just, else have forensics? Mr. Smoke. I have it. There we go. So, uh, are you going to inspect it, Damon? Uh, quickly, if you don't mind. I'm confused. Why isn't he doing? For, I thought he has. Uh, I only have one point. He's saving one point. it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's I only have one point as well. Forensicing this. So basically, I'm I'm thinking like I would be better served examining like the crime scene. You might be better served examining the like what it clears appears to be like a murder or. Well, I suppose either way, it's a point for a point. But actually, sure. you're the right, doctor exactly. and he's the policeman. So. Yeah. Whatever. It's fine. Sure, okay. Yeah, I'll find the point. Okay. So um. This woman was bitten by something uh, uh, par- very large, perhaps the size of a shark or, or larger, with jaguar-like teeth. Uh, you can see strange burns near the bottom half of her body where, the, where her torso was bitten in half. Um, and it goes straight through to the bone, obviously, because the bottom half of her body is missing. Uh, Bloodstains suggest the other half of the human carcass uh, was not dragged off. Uh, it is simply gone. Etten? Uh, crocodile, perhaps? Uh, Damon, you can make a sense danger roll. So it's definitely not a crocodile. What about the fact where it's... Where we've seen, like, fucked up shit, right? We can... We, we, we've <laughs> oh, seen yeah, enough stuff. After all the shit we've seen, you're just like, Ah, oh, crocodile! Ah, uh, probably crocodile. <laughs> yeah. oh, you guys have to make civility checks, by the way. Everybody? Yeah. Woman bitten in half with strange burns. Wait. I didn't. Oh, I didn't say I was going anywhere near the woman with the strange birds. All right, then. Then you don't have to. Uh, yeah, I, th- I don't think have Damon, to make Damon and Harvey are there. Fritz and Kitty and Alcatruz are out in the jungle. The bargaining. Yeah, okay. we're taking turns. All right, uh, Damon. Th- you saw a severed head earlier. This is only going to be one one point of stability. <laughs> and Kitty. Uh, Harvey, I'm past. Kitty, Kitty, Kitty's out to bargaining. I'm, I'm fine. Kitty, Sorry? Kitty's with me and Alcatruz to bargain. Okay, fair enough. No, Alcatruz is going to go ahead. Uh, oh, okay. Alcatruz sort of like walks up. As soon as he sees the body, uh, Damon, you can see his face turn uh, turn green. Chartreuse? Uh, A nice shade of chartreuse? <laughs> and, um, it's happened! For a moment, he uh, he tries to put on a brave face, and then he like sort of steps forward, uh, his foot splashing in the water. Um and then he turns to the side and like uh, empties the contents of the stomach into the into the water. Nice. My God, would you get a fifth of bourbon? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. All right. So Harvey's okay. going to continue on to the ball court. Okay. Cool. Uh, All right. So you continue on to the ball court. Um. You can see uh, as you approach that the grass has been cut back, uh, likely by a machete, something like that. Um, there are, by the way, a, a ton of opportunities for spends here. If you want to spend anything, just let me know. Um, like I said, there there are flies buzzing around the area. This this place has clearly been here for some time. The bodies are bloated and uh, clearly rotting. Uh, there are a, a large number of bodies. Uh, most of them wearing uh, jungle gear. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'll fe- I'll spend a um, point of biology and forensics. Uh, so forensics, I'll let you spend. Okay. Um, so with forensics, um, you can match thirteen of the bodies on the ground uh, to the people in the photo, including Dominguez, who okay. is in the center of the photo. The the, the photo is the one of like. You know, the three rows of people, or two mm-hmm. rows of people, or whatever, like all those scientists, yep. cultists, and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Um, Mr. Smoke, would you mind, uh, you know, doing your best to examine for anything left behind? 
uh, like so evidence collection be... or, or uh... yeah, evidence collection is fine. Okay, there you go. So, um, Damon, you uh, you rummage through Dominguez's pockets real quick. By the way, he doesn't have any head. None of them have heads. Just so you remember. Um, <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, everybody else who is seeing this for the first time is also going to have to take a stability test. Um, Kitty, uh, you can see that uh, Alcatraz is there, uh, but his hands are like shaking pretty violently. Um, so wh why don't why don't we back up a second, Fritz? Do you want to like go join them, or are we? No, no, no. It's okay. I mean, our our thing was like, oh, here, here's my perspective. I we're sneaking around to the back of the pyramid. We just wanted somebody to like check out the tent and make sure we weren't about to be ambushed. So we have no interest yeah. in going over. Okay, to... that's fine. That's oh. fine. That's totally fine. All right, so Harvey, uh, you guys, you still have to make a stability test for this, this scene. There are spears oh. and arrows sticking out of people. None of them have heads. I already made a stability test for the woman bitten in half. Yeah, but this is like 16 people. Oh, all right. Um, you're you're not again. sure you're going to be stable. I, I, I'm fine. This is not a problem for me. He's, he's very <laughs> I, I basically he's invented mustard. <laughs> 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 I'm totally fine with this. <laughs> Extremely bruised brain. Um, okay, so uh, Damon, you find uh, this letter. Oh, well, it's bloody. On, also, on, uh, isn't Harvey, like, Dominguez. actually a war criminal or something? Yeah, I I, I invented mustard gas. Yeah, all right. We've reached so the site. Also, of the um, Damon, as well, you, the as you method, really, the but... perimeter of the, um, the ball court, you notice that there are empty shell piles lined in sticky pools of congealed blood speckled with stuck flies. Stuck flies? All right, so this this note saying that they made camp on the ball court is almost a year old. Oh, uh, the, the, if the year is wrong, then that's that's not right. It should be the right year. No, it should be a couple Wait, of days. No, it's it should 34. Be like that's a right. week ago, right? Like two weeks ago, three weeks ago? The, I think that it's correct, Nick. I don't understand. Uh, isn't this like November 1934 right now? No, November our previous now? ones were marked incorrectly. Remember, Kevin said the ones before were 1933. I think. I don't know what you mean. What ones before? The whole thing's been taking place in 1934. Well, we just passed um, into 35, New Year's Day, I think. So are we in 35 now, and this is a year ago? or no, So this... the, the letter is not a year old, if, the, if it says... Okay. It says January 10th, 1934. Right, so it should be 35. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Never mind, you guys. They just made camp here very recently. Yeah, about two weeks ago. <laughs> Insight diminished. So, um, Harvey, as you stand there, you notice that the walls of the ball court are covered in murals. Um, the carvings along the wall depict gruesome human sacrifices made to a sphere hanging in the sky. Hmm. Okay. Um, could I take a point of Cthulhu mythos or a cult? Do you have theology or astronomy? Uh, yes, I have both, I believe. All right. Well, I'll take the right, so Okay. Um, so uh, as you stare at the mural, it occurs to you um, that the sun and the moon are both represented on this mural, but they are not the thing that is being, uh, uh, that is not depicted as the opposite of the sacrifice in the sky. Um, both, both those bodies are clearly demarked in Mayan symbology. And are in fact, or like I said, present elsewhere. Um, this sphere that they are talking about is, or, or gesturing towards, is is not the sun or the moon. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um, all right, Mr. Smoke. Do you think uh, it's time to? Head back. I don't know how much else we're gonna find. Wow. Here. I thought it was time to, to head back way yeah. before that. Those before those guys come back, and uh, this definitely looks like their burial site, right? Yeah, I don't disagree. Or their storage site, rather. So Harvey, as you're um, as you're staring at the at the mural, you begin to notice um, a figure of some kind standing above the top of the mural. Um, as you stare towards it, you notice that it's staring directly at you. Mm -hmm. What do you mean on top um, of the mural? Like on top of the wall? Yep. Like he's standing on top of the wall. 
Yep. Is it it's like a person? person? Um, so I will show it to Harvey. Or is it a statue or a visage? Harvey turns and says hello in the language of the ancient Soksul. <laughs> <laughs> is it in hand? Tongue of the liar. Yep, it's in uh, Clues Yucatan. It's a little murky. Okay. We oh, it is a little murky. Oh. And as you as you look at it, it um, disappears back behind into the forest. You just had a vision, boy. I, uh... On a scale to of one to orb in the sky, <laughs> give it to us straight. I would say like a strong seven, like <laughs> seven point six. <laughs> six point five out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what do you do, Harvey? Pass out. <laughs> I um I set my rat cage down on the ground, open the door and say, you know, in a hushed whisper, this is no place for you. And I, and it I immediately starts feasting on all of the corpses and disagrees <laughs> with you. Who do you say that to? The rat. The rat. The rat. Oh. This is like the perfect place for that rat. It's gonna love it here. So I, I saw it actually like jump off the wall into the jungle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's saving his rat, but not us. Interesting. I wonder what he saw. Um, perhaps we should uh, rejoin the group, Mr. Smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh, so I like run back to the group and tell them everybody to like high in the jungle, right? We're because... not going to the pyramid. Uh, I don't believe the jungle is safe at the... M uh, I mean, I agree with, with uh, Dr. Drechner's uh, assessment that the safest, most defensible position is probably up on that ziggurat thingy. Uh, not if you've seen what we've seen. Well, you haven't seen anything, Tim. Yeah. I mean, I've seen well, I guess... Stuff. Oh, you've seen the bodies. You've seen the bodies. Okay, excuse me. Um, well, yeah. So we know the they, safest place isn't the ball court. Well, they Mr. and Smoke. so I like. Yeah. Mister Smoke, are you inclined to sleep in the rain, in the jungle, so that we can make a trek back, without any sense of ever going? Right. We shouldn't. Stay I'm not saying that we decide to live here for the rest of our lives. I'm saying we have to spend the night somewhere. That structure on the top of that pyramid is the most defensible place. There's a lot of open ground around it. It would be very difficult for anyone to sneak up on us. We can defend ourselves, and then when the sun comes, we can try to fight our way out, and we'll have the advantage of the sun so that we can make our way back. I, uh, I don't even know how, ma how many of them there are, Fritz. <laughs> Ten? Well, nobody does, 20? but... All we know is that they've managed to kill dozens and dozens of people. So, Damon, what did, what did you do with the body, by the way? Or the unconscious man? I told you I secured it. What okay, yeah. Fine. I don't know. You tied him up and left him in the, on the jungle line? Bro, he's he secure. He doesn't ask. <laughs> the <laughs> asset is secure. Don't so worry he's, about it. He's still um, with Harvey and Fritz. He's beginning to uh, he's beginning to stay. Kitty and Fritz. Kitty and Fritz, sorry. Yep. Just no, uh, knock him out again. I say, why don't we um, ask our friend here? Uh, all right. I left a little handle in his shoulder. It, yeah. He answers questions if you jiggle it a little. All right, yeah. So you begin. You see his eyes begin to like uh, flutter open. Just, just a tad, Fritz. What are you gonna do? Uh, so let's see. Um... Can I kick him in the face? I um, can I use a point in languages to see whether there's something we can communicate in? Uh, you don't need to spend a point. You, he can talk in Spanish. Ah, well, excellent. Um, I believe we've firmly established that I can't, but oh, Kitty, we can, have... actually, Kitty can speak Spanish. There we go. It, it became canon at some point in Mexico City that Fritz has no <laughs> yes. idea what Spanish is. Yeah, so. no, Kitty, Kitty oh. speaks Spanish. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, so what do you what do you want to ask, Fritz? Well, anything that we can learn about him and his people and uh, and what's going on here would be much appreciated. If they have, in fact, if they are guardians of this site and have killed off the cult, then our job here is done. If they are um, 
more native cultists who objected to the colonialism of our friends, Brooks and Santiago, then were in trouble. All right. Kitty Kitty listens, like, soberly to, to everything oh that you're sup. saying. And then uh, turns to the guy and says, uh, right, so I was going to say stuff, but you stole it from me. She says, uh, who are you? Um, he uh, he kind of like opens his, his eyes like flutter up and he looks around and he says, uh, you stand on hallowed ground. Only those who revere Gulksimal are allowed here. Who What? Only those who revere, revere Gulksimal. Arlo, oh, here. I say, uh, Goxwall's awesome. Um, <laughs> revere the crap out of that guy. <laughs> yeah, we we definitely revere him in in a uh, you know, geez, we're scared of that guy kind of way. But um, why why are you? Uh, did you did you kill? Uh, you know our <laughs> companions back there. <laughs> he says, uh, one day the Zoltso will return, and they must find this place. Unstained. I said, if, if you're not the Zoltzol, who are you? He says, it doesn't matter anymore. Kitty. All right, then I ask him about whether he objects to the colonialism of Santiago. <laughs> Kitty, ask him what it is. All right, I ask him. Is what that KSS, is. though? Is that, is that correct? Hey, what it is. What it bro. is. What it what, is, bro. What is it? What it is, what it is. <laughs> he says, um, he shakes his head. Somebody drop um, a beat. And, like, kind of coughs, and he says, um, only those who revere Gulksimal or find, or you know, who he finds impressive can survive this place. I don't think uh, I say, good. I say, we've, we've, uh, we've been dealing with, uh, Gulksimal and his followers for, uh, for a long time. I, I, dare say we'd impress well enough we've made it this far uh, miss kennedy uh, ask him what the creature is <laughs> he 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 chuckles he says you think you've dealt with goatsamal you're with that other cult aren't you fools you don't know what you worship do you i say uh i say you you pathetic wretch we're with no cult get your story straight and, this uh, is an actress this is a great actress. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Guys, 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 just hold, hold on one second. I'm going to slap this guy in the face. Ooh. Yes. All right. You can spend a point of much, scuff. You don't even need to. Much like Richard Sterling kinda... hath been slapped. <laughs> All right. All right. You slap him. Yeah. I slap him and I say, I, I say what I say. I say, like, you fool. You, you know nothing. Um, we're not from any cult. Uh, now tell me what, what the monster is or whatever Harvey asks. Yep. He's... <laughs> he chuckles. He says, um, "You'll find it soon enough, or perhaps it will find you." I tell Harvey what he said. Well, did we? Did, did myself and Harvey? Oh, uh, and right, I tell him. Wait, uh, well, back. that doesn't seem very good in Spanish. Um, so he's so he's being a little. I point out the woman that was like bitten in half or whatever. I believe I saw what was responsible for that. Eh? What? Uh, I, I didn't get a great look, but... Can you, like, draw us a picture real quick? <laughs> right, I'm, just, gonna, I'm gonna, while Harvey's drawing a picture, I'm gonna ask this guy. No, I'm say, um, this, this other cult, uh, what is it that they think they're worshipping? He says, How should I know? Well, why, why were they here looking for Gulksimal? He says, um... Uh, he, he doesn't seem like he's inclined to answer you about this. I kick his okay. knife like shoulder. Okay. Ooh. I want to... Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, that's good. I'm, I'm, I'm done with that. Yeah, Leverage that's control. probably going to hurt. <laughs> he screams, he says, they wind on for days about the maw of the mouth. Some kind of... It's weird because in Spanish it's the same word, so I'm very confused by it. Anyway, go on. I'm just kidding. He says, uh, <clears throat> some kind of imposter. I don't know. He says, uh, if you have more questions, I'm sure Goksumal would be glad to answer them. <coughs> Wait, did he say, say some well, kind of imposter? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I, I say, unfortunately for you, we've met this imposter, and uh, it's perhaps scarier than your Goxamal. <coughs> he laughs. He says, um, you are idiots. Kill me now. I show him photographs of the uh, basement mouth orgy <laughs> thing. <laughs> Oh, I, I thought you were just going to show him photographs of Echevarria getting it on with... Yeah, <laughs> that too. <laughs> the torture continues. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, well... I don't think uh, we should kill him now. Yeah, I, I'm inclined to take the last five minutes to actually discuss all of that, but that's just me. You guys can keep going. Whatever you want. I think whatever we should do, whatever we do, we should do it from the top of the pyramid. I, Isn't uh, that where you like, saw that like thing? Like this guy off no. The top of no, he's. No. What, what did you see, Harvey? I'm not quite sure how I would describe it. Um, it wasn't a crocodile, though. I. I'm, I'm sorry. I I don't know how to describe it without being called the liar. Um, please believe that between the four of us, we've seen rather a number of things. True. A number, like three. Three things, we've seen them. Uh, maybe six, six feet tall, um, resembling a, uh, large, muscular, bipedal bird, perhaps like an ostrich, uh, uh, several, um, what, what are they called? Uh, what, what's the, the term for the, like, forward, like a T-Rex limb, like a forward-facing appendage? Um, several. Limbs. Several limbs, uh, mm -hmm. dangling forward, uh, four, maybe? Um, not appearing particularly all? useful, but, you know, kept tight to its body. I couldn't really see what was at the end of them. And, uh, head. I didn't see any eyes. Um, a mouth that it was. It didn't resemble anything I've seen before. So, Damon, uh, while he's describing this, you get the feeling like the the hairs in the back of your neck start to prick up, like you're being. I like. I like pull out my gun and take a look around. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I could. I'm not sure if there's like a search equipment. No, you don't. You don't see anything. You just see like the. You know, you hear the noises of the of the crickets. Um, it is still it's sunset, so the, the the sky is sort of a riot of color, um, and the shadows are beginning to lengthen in, in the jungle. the The area near near the jungle line is is becoming darkened. So, Harvey, you saw the thing on the pyramid, right? No, no, no you saw it, it on the, the top of the ball court. Yeah, the ball court wall. The ball wall. Um, I believe it was observing us, watching us. Um, I. It sounds ever so. Slightly goxmallish. I think that this doesn't really change the situation. Honestly, one demon is much the same as 20 people with guns trying to kill us. Either we try to run out through the forest, or we make the top of the pyramid and try to hole up for the evening and then make our breaks the next day. It's, it's too late. We've got to go. We've got to go, like, hunker down at the top of the pyramid. I tend to agree. I think running through the jungle... In the, in the dark is um, a good way to get killed by things much more mundane than Golksumol. Uh, but, I don't like, I don't this like is the dictatorship, what do you say? Well, we're running out of time, so if we're gonna go uh, hole up in this pyramid, then... Sorry, we're running out of light. If we're gonna go hole up in this pyramid, then we should do it now. If everyone's in favor, let's do it. Um, so, um, Damon, you uh, as you stare off at the at the um, the tree line, you uh, begin to make out a form, uh, and just as you think you've gotten a glimpse of it, uh, which looks like this. No, okay. Oh, I don't. Want, I, I don't. I don't want stability loss. It's clues you can No, uh, it, that's okay. You still see it. You don't have to take the ability loss for this. Um, it, um, it shifts back into the shadows of the jungle. All right. 
I say we ascend. ascend that was a perhaps. nasty looking fucker. And there. Yeah, and we, I was like, alright guys, go time! <laughs> to the pyramid! <laughs> Quickly! <laughs> I say, holy crap, Harvey. I think I just saw it in the jungle. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, I like pistol whipped a dude that's tied up. <laughs> I was like... I was like a snack for ducks of all you. No, now we're gonna have to carry him. You could have at least like no, pushed just, him. No, in. we don't. So by the way, by I'm the way, the... Him. okay. Oh no! Why? I said a snack for ducks and all you fucker. No, <laughs> I... he just like worships ducks and all. I... Great. I don't. Then everybody's happy all around. He's happy. Ducks happy. I'm happy. I'm not <laughs> I think sure he's not able to leave. I mean, he knows where we've gone. So, if he were found by his comrades, then yeah. they would know where to look for us. I think it's best that we either take him, or, um, render him not so much able to talk. Hmm. Cut his tongue out. Yeah, that's that would I work, I guess. Uh, no, I think we should take him with us. Oh, oh but he can, he can write, in that case. We should cut his fingers off as well. Well, he could, like, dig it out with his toes in the dirt. Mm. Toes. We could take the toes, too. <laughs> uh, the stumps. <laughs> Really, we're just gonna have to, like, whack um, him. I'll so, uh, Alcu Chu's looks around and he says, um, let's just leave him here. Uh, we, we've got to get out of here. That that thing's gonna come by. I say, yeah. uh, yes, but but my my darling, it's it's too dangerous uh, to leave him there. For once uh, in my life, I agree with your darling. He says, uh, <laughs> perhaps if it finds him, it won't be hungry anymore. That is he says, a like his hands like idea. shaking. Oh, All right. Well, I mean, again, All right. this is oh, a big change. That's start, what you think. Let's like, go. I start walking towards the pyramid. I like pistol whip the guy anyway while he's all tied up on the ground to knock him out, and then right. I head for the pyramid because I'm cold, cold like that. Yeah, Fritz follows. All right. So, um, Hi, guys. so as you turn around, um, you hear a sign of sort of a sort of a crunching sound. And as you look, you're, you're most of the, you're most of the way up the pyramid. All of you can see um, the figure that I have, the, the form that I have linked in uh, Yucatan. Clues Yucatan, hunched over the figure, just chomping away, or, or hunched over the the cultist. Wait, this. That's right. All right. This guy in like a. You can hit show all, show to all players. Hmm. No, I know. Just hit show to all players. No. Do it. Are we talking about? Are you talking about this guy in the conquistador outfit? Or else this is going to keep going. Phil, so that's a thing that's happening. Yeah. So I didn't really know how to describe that. I mean, it, it, it has two fairly normal arms, doesn't it? it? Well, it's got four fairly odd arms. It no, it doesn't. Yeah, two legs, I guess. Two legs. Are we looking at the same thing? The monster with the drool on its. It's got Maybe four not. arms and. Ah, I see what's happening here. We're all seeing different things. Excellent. Oh. Cool. Yes. Wonderful. Right. Multiform creature. I've run into many of them before. That will make it easier. Can't decide on its own form? It's easy to defeat! <laughs> Alright. Into, so it, into it, the pyramid. It, it begins, to drag, begins to drag the body. Uh, blood dripping from its mouth uh, back into the jungle. What mouth? <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, wow. So, Kitty, do you say anything? Are you? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, I think I think I... Fritz is. I think Fritz is. Uh, Fritz is. Do you? I mean, do you say that out loud, Fritz? Yes. Okay, Wait, yeah, you he guys... kind of mumbled it to himself exactly the way that I did. Yeah, okay. Uh, you guys are have to take a stability test. I just asked if you jerk. <laughs> oh, no, no it's not It's not I'm the creature kidding, itself, I'm which kidding. is definitely stability-inducing, but um, this realization that you are seeing different things. Um, what, important what question. Right? Yeah. Does this count as a stability roll related to Xoxul? Uh, yeah. Okay, I get minus one. 
<laughs> oh, so we, we can we can spend stability, right? This is the you same can spend like stability. Yes, you can. It's just that, like, failing stability roll. Right, I'm right, seeing that, like, this is like, more real. potentially. Ugh. Okay, so uh, the the threshold here is four. Um, if you made a four or above, you take two points of stability loss. If you did not make four or above, you lose one point of sanity. <laughs> sanity just going down, down, down. Down, down, baby. All right. Well, that's good. All right. Um, so uh, just as the sun is setting and the stars begin to come out, you reach the top of the pyramid of the sorcerer. Um, so uh, for t- you can read Mayan. Yep. Um, you can tell the glyphs along the sharp edges of uh, the stones on the other side of the stairs. Um, read, the, like I said, the pyramid of the sorcerer. Um, you can see that the many places the glyphs here have been um, written over or carved over and then carved over again. Anyways, uh, I think that's where we'll stop for tonight. All right. Uh, this has been Live From Beyond. Uh, Eternal Lies, Yucatan. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you've liked this for some reason, you can check out our YouTube channel. Uh, it's youtube.com slash Live From Beyond. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can check out our Twitch channel. Uh, like I said, if you've enjoyed this, uh, please tell your friends. That's, uh, that's how people get to know about us. And... Um, Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week at 7.30. All right, thank you, players. Have have a good night, everybody. Somewhere around that time.